Hello and good morning, everybody. I am Brother Hosanna David. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am happy that the Lord has kept us alive to see another beautiful day. And I want to thank God for the revival He's causing across the world, exposing the works of darkness and drawing His children close and closer to Himself. I want to share with us some of the dreams that the Lord gave to me some years ago. I used to write my dreams down. This book it's a book that has been with me for over 18 years and I was putting down all my dreams. Uh, in this particular dream that I had, I had this dream 2008, on the 11th of 2008. Uh, it was the second uh, week that I resumed a seminary and precisely on the 11th 11th of October 2008, I had a dream and I was in a petrol station. I was preaching, I was so emotional and I was crying in a dream. And these were the words I, uh, these are the words I was saying in the dream. I said, do not be happy, people of this world. God is not happy at all because of your evil deeds. He is filled with fury. That means anger. Uh, when I woke up, I had another vision. I have I had a vision, and I saw Jesus' head sweating blood. His head was sweating blood, and the whole of his hair, uh, the hair, were covered with blood. And I, I had a second vision. I saw swarms of locusts invading a farm. If you're familiar with locusts, they actually don't move alone. This one, they were swarm of locusts. They were invading the farm and destroying all the crops in the farm. And I heard the voice of Jesus. He was crying and lamenting. And he was saying that, you locusts, were you not feeding? before I planted my farm. So why did you decide to abandon your normal meals and you feeding on my crops in the farm? He was weeping profusely. And these were the visions and a dream that I had. Looking at this dream very well, we all know that the world today is more of satanic than godly. The world is offending God. The foundation of truth has been broken down and everybody wants to do things the way they want. Nobody wants to subject themselves to the laws of God except a few. If you are living in this world, please know that the standard of this world is a fallen one and that God is waiting to judge mankind one day. He is waiting because he has set a day aside for the judgment to come. Uh, the second dream that I had, uh, the second revelation, it was a vision that I had and I saw the head of Jesus uh, full of blood. He was, the, the whole head was, he was sweating blood and his heads were covered with blood. It is agony. We know that in the garden, of Gethsemane, where Jesus was praying, the Bible says that he, he, there were sweats of blood coming out of him. Uh, medical personnel, I think they call it hematiprosis. If Jesus Christ has died, and I'm still, I, I had this kind of vision that he was sweating blood, uh, this should not be physical blood, but it is agony. Passing, he is passing through even a higher agony because the people he died for, majority of them are on their way to the fire of hell. So how could Jesus come and die and bring the free gifts of salvation to us, but many people still remain in their own belief? and decided to enjoy the things of this world at the expense of their 
the salvation of their souls. The other one I had, the swarm of locusts invading a farm and feeding on the farm of Jesus. These are uh, the evil people in the church. The farm represents the church. The crops represent the believers. But Satan himself has come into the church. The false prophets have come into the church. They are destroying the crops of Jesus. And Jesus is saying, were you not feeding before I planted my farm? Why did you decide to destroy everything that I put in place? I know that the Lord is not happy. The Lord is sad because of the evil in the world and in the church in particular. But you as a believer, I want you to single yourself out of the danger that is coming. Single yourself out of this world because the Lord is going to judge the world. There has been a battle before we were born. Two kingdoms are in a battle, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. There was a war in heaven. Nobody knows why, uh, I, I mean nobody knows. I'm saying nobody knows because nobody actually has a tangible evidence. Nobody knows why there was uh, darkness upon the earth. On the day of creation, and there was water, but there was a foundation existing in the world. A lot of people say, which I also believe, that the war that took place destroyed the first world that existed. And there was darkness. Darkness was left. There was flood. There was a battle. There are two kingdoms in this war. It is left for us to join any of these kingdoms. Either join the kingdom of God or join the kingdom of the devil. So there is nothing like staying in between. Jesus said, he that gathereth, gathereth not with me scatters abroad. You either gather with Jesus or you scatter. If you are in the church, whether you are a member or you are a pastor, if you are not gathering with Christ, you are scattering abroad. There are lots of people who are scattering the church and destroying the crops of Jesus Christ that he has planted. We know that Jesus is very much aware of the situation. There is a parable of the uh, wheat and tares. Jesus, the servants met Jesus. He said, Do the, met the master, according to the words of Jesus, should we pull off the tares? He said, no, don't pull them off. Leave everything to the day of harvest. Are you a tear or you are a weed? Are you a weed or you are a plant? There are lots of people who are in the church today. They are representatives of the world of darkness, of the kingdoms of darkness, but they claim they transform themselves as angels of light. But inside the church, they are working for the devil and working against Jesus Christ and the children of God. Are you among those people? Are you a marine agent? Are you a witchcraft agent and you are in the church and destroying the church? Jesus is weeping now. He is weeping and a message is coming to you that you have to repent. But if in case you fail to repent, a time is coming when Jesus shall rejoice and the whole kingdom of God shall rejoice after the redemption, the final redemption of the saints, but you shall lament, and your lamentation shall have no end. The sorrow of Jesus has end. After the rapture, and after the final judgment, there will be joy in heaven all through. I'm not saying that there is sorrow in heaven now because there can't be sorrow in heaven. But I'm telling you that the heart of Jesus is broken because of people like you. There are some who come into the church, and they go to the children's department and decide to possess little children with different kind of evil spirits. Who are you working for? Some come into the church because they are aiming at a brother or aiming at a sister they want to make to fall. You can hide from the eyes of men, but you can't hide from the eyes of God. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro all over the world. He sees even the secret things. God is not a man that sees only the outward appearance. He sees also the heart. He knows your spirit. So you repent. 
Jesus Christ is weeping. Repent. Repent for the kingdom of the Lord is at hand. For those of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hosanna E. E. David, I am not a prosperity preacher. If you don't want to hear the truth, you can unsubscribe. Fast. It's none of my problem. I'm not interested in the numbers. I'm not interested in the, I'm not looking for fans. I'm looking for disciples. Those who will catch the truth and run with the truth and spread the truth abroad. I'm not working for any man. I'm not interested in your money. Those who are close to me, they know I don't preach money. I'm not interested in your money. I'm not interested in fame. I'm, not, I'm interested in the kingdom of my father to work for him and to speak the truth so that people can be saved. When I die, when I leave this world, I am going to leave everything I have behind. The only thing I'm going to take along is the work that I have done, which is what I am doing right now. So I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in your soul. I'm not interested in your money. You can go away with your money. It's none of my business. I'm not one of those who or those ministers who will not tell you the truth but are interested in your pocket. I'm not one of them. The Lord has warned me to speak the truth and I have to speak the truth. Repent for the kingdom of the Lord is at hand. Share this message and also subscribe to my YouTube channels if you have not done so. Hosanna E. E. David and also Ego Eye Opener. You can visit my websites egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsensualpurity.com. Thank you and God bless you. Remain rapture ready. Bye-bye.